it puts me in a good mood. Soon. Back to you, too. All right, Henry. He just kills me in the morning. Salt Lake City, Utah, 1999. I was just starting out in my career, and without your support, who knows where I would have been? You put in a good word for me. Well, Megan, I still think you had been in great places and ended up at KTLA, but you know what? I may have helped you out a little bit in Salt Lake City, but if it wasn't for your help, I would have never landed at KTLA, and now I'm living the dream. Oh. That's right. I think we're all living the dream. It's truly amazing. But did you know, before our man Henry DiCarlo wanted to be a meteorologist, Channel 5 was his go-to station. Here's why. I can remember my youngest memories of watching television were KTLA because they had angel games on the station. The California Angels take on the Minnesota Twins here on Channel 5. I was always watching angel games with my father and then the news would often come on after that. So for me, it was part of growing up. Uh, you know, I've been watching Sam Rubin since I was a little kid, so it's great. <laughs> it's just, it's, been, it's fantastic oh to be here. I had just started at KTLA and Sam is sitting across from me. I'm a little intimidated and he starts ripping on me in a fun way. <laughs> Come and, on. Uh, today we're required to dress like Henry DiCarlo, which I have done. And I remember I sat back after that whole segment ended, I'm like, I've arrived. If Sam Rubin is picking on me, I know that he has accepted me into this family. Yeah. Now the weather with Henry DiCarlo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, we are doing a weather do si -do. For those that have just turned on the TV set, don't ask. <laughs> this is not right. I'm totally doing this in protest. Oh my God! Here's Hammer and Hammer. Yes. He, he's great. He's hilarious. He says things that I can't say. We depend on him for comedy relief. Serious weather to talk about. <laughs> Look at the Doppler. <laughs> we have. <laughs> so wake me up when it's all over. It sounds cliche. People say it's like a family, but it really is. He's like a brother to me, and I. I truly love working with him. <laughs> oh my goodness! Come on, Jersey Kate! Ready? Ready? Yep. Now here's the thing about it. <laughs> We've had so many good moments on this show, organic moments. Can you out out dance a chihuahua? What I remember most um, are those times. The fun, the laughs, the joking uh, at others' expense. This is gonna be the best day of my life. Proud about what we do here. I love the fact that when I come to work, I feel like there is a connection. I love the fact that I'm building to something that's becoming bigger and better every day. And I've been doing this for over 25 years, and I've never been happier. Happy oh. Valentine's Day! Yeah. Yeah. And thank you for providing the comic relief for us each and every morning. I know the viewers feel the same way. I don't think I could wake up at 2 a.m. without you, and that's thank the truth. You. However, there was one morning in particular where I could have not woken up at 2 a.m. and been a very happy girl. Yeah. What day was that? Earthquake! earthquake. We're having an earthquake! We're having an earthquake. <laughs> that was St. Patrick's Day. I'll never forget it. it. And I think the audience won't ever let me forget it. Every time there's a, even a minor earthquake, I get the meme sent to me on social media. And I love it. It'll go down in Channel 5 history. <laughs> Another thing that was particularly memorable, that was also the same day I got a call that would change my life. Welcome to the KTLA team. You know what? I'm proud to be here. No joke. I watch you guys have for years. When I got the call that I'd be joining the KTLA 5 News team, it was like getting the call up from the minor leagues to the major leagues. Hi, everybody. I knew of Chris, and I'll be honest, I was thinking, is this really going to work? Chris was kind of this buttoned up anchor man. And when he came over to Channel 5, what was so great is he was finally able to be himself. He was able to relax and show us the real Chris. And I think that's what viewers love most about him. Wake me up before no! you go. Oh my God. This is your morning news team at work. Hump day. I think we click because to Megan Chagrin, Henry and I have very similar uh, senses of humor. I can't with these two. Oh. They are like being inside of a locker room, the two of them together. A family friendly, most of the time, locker room. You can't be a part of this gang if you can't be made fun of. Oh, Quake Face. Poor Chris Jobble and the Quake Face. And in case you missed it, <laughs> well, here it is again. Ginger, thank you. Coming up, more problems for a trouble. Earthquake. Yep, We're having an earthquake. earthquake. Quake face will live forever. I was traumatized by that entire experience. Chris owns it and I love him for that, but I still cringe every time I see that video. Every time. 
Anyone who knows me knows that I'm an animated person. I make faces like that all the time. So when she's talking and I feel a jolt and I go, earthquake. You know, that was the natural thing that I would do. Of course, it became the, the subject of countless memes. I told Chris, you're on your own next time. <laughs> Here goes Chris. He's doing good. <laughs> Here's the thing about working for Channel 5. When you go out into the community, you can feel the love. People come up to me, they stop me, and they say, we love you guys. I oh my got God. a challenge! I'm absolutely proud to be an anchor at Channel 5. In the afternoons, I transform. I'm a track coach and I'm dead. And that's what's great about Channel 5, is it allows me to be all of those things. Our management allowed me to pursue uh, a story regarding my birth mother. That story changed my life, it changed my family's life, and it will be the story that I will always go back to as being like the biggest of my career. And that was when we located the name and then the person who is my biological mother. And we went to go visit her. And of course, we shared that story with our audience. Hi, Virginia. Wow. Hello, beautiful woman. How are you? I'm okay now. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Within two years after meeting my biological mother, she would later die of pancreatic cancer. And I just think about it. If I wasn't at Channel 5, and I didn't have the producers and bosses and coworkers that I have, I wouldn't have been able to meet my biological mother. For that single reason alone, I will be eternally grateful to Channel 5. Oh, I love that so much. I seriously get goosebumps every time I see it. I want to thank you guys for all of your support. You were absolutely wonderful throughout the whole process. You know, Chris, we loved it. And I think the audience really enjoyed going on that road with you. And, you know, we're like family. In fact, all of us, we have become family over the years. I know, Megan, we're like two big brothers, and we love teasing our little <laughs> sister. <laughs> we, have, yeah, we have such a great time. But, you know, we do take our job seriously. And we just want to thank you, because along the way, you have been such a good sport. It's so great to be here, guys. Megan Henderson, originally from Southern California, been working in Dallas for the last five years. My dream had always been to come back to Southern California, specifically to be on the KTLA Morning News, because this was a show that I literally grew up watching. He's got hula skills. <laughs> While many young girls at that time would say, oh, I want to be the next Katie Couric, I seriously wanted to be the next Barbara Beck. Kisses, we love you guys so much. Megan, my BFF. She's a beautiful spirit inside and out, and we've clicked since day one. Let's do it. First of all, let's get to go. Oh, she cheated! I'm not gonna move a muscle. I'm a little bit frightened right now. Megan, she had a she had a younger brother, and I think in a lot of ways that set her up to handle Chris and I. Teasing is a form of love. No, I deserve it all. No, actually, we kind of I take, we all. relish, we <laughs> relish and in it. We genuinely work because we genuinely love each other. We know that at the end of the day, we can joke around with each other, but we still have each other's back. Uh, the power went out in our studio. Yes. We are now in the newsroom. I feel like we're doing like a campus newscast This is. Now. Megan looks great every single day and obviously has the best hair. I've got pieces of plastic in my hair. I'm I think cut. you should cut Let it on cut live it. TV. <gasps> oh. I mean, I wouldn't poke fun at everything that she wears if, you know, 99 times out of 100, she didn't look terrific. An anti-Rorschach test. Oh, oh my God. Wow. People say I pick on Megan, and then I make fun of her, but no. What I say about Megan is all true. Megan was going to be a Dallas Cowboy cheater. Megan does dress funny sometimes. This morning, who wore it? <laughs> Megan or Bogey That's Bond. a good one. Like Are you like Wonder you Woman today with your... Yes, as yeah. a matter of fact. Don't mess with me. Yeah, yeah. but I saw yeah. when you did the... I knew I was going to be across from you. Somebody has to tell me. Here's the deal. Again, it's it's like working with your much, much older brothers. Everybody's playing. I love it. I'm like it in a skirt. We're social players. Um, <laughs> Megan, I think next time you want to be behind Sam, not in front of Sam. But you know what? We always are the first to protect her. Don't you dare criticize Megan. Not our Megan. We love her to death. So she's like an aunt to my baby boy. You know, she comes over and she just, she doesn't even come over to do anything. She's just, I want to see Levi. I want to hang out with you, just chat. And so... Um, her friendship means the world. Chris and I talk about this all the time. 
The success of our show is because of Megan. I don't even know that's the same girl under there. The k Time More News is a safe place for us all to be ourselves and to share a part of ourselves. And I'm so grateful for that. We're a family, you know, and I, you gotta love that. That's what makes you beautiful. Man, that was fun. Look yeah. who just showed up. Ginger, where have you been? Oh, sorry guys, there was a sick alert. Join us, join us. Coming up, Jessica Holmes' Cinderella story. But first, we're gonna take a walk down memory lane with our very own Ginger Chan and Rich Jamiro. I can't wait. Our 25th anniversary special continues after this.